The T-26 is a small vehicle with thin armor but a heavy-hitting 45mm cannon that can devastate most enemies at its battle rating, featuring light armor, average mobility, a good gun, and poor gun depression. The T-26, firepower-wise, has many of the features of later Soviet tanks. The armor of the T-26 is thin, thus making the vehicle's survivability low. Armor is nearly flat on all sides, so it is recommended to not expose yourself to enemy fire. The crew members are not lined up behind each other from the front, meaning that enemies using AP solid shots may have to take up to 2-3 shots before knocking out all of your crew. Heavy machine guns and auto cannons, since they will be able to both penetrate your armor and shred your crew and modules. While being a light tank, its mobility is one of a heavy tank. The top speed is very low for a light tank, combined with a low power to weight ratio given by its weak engine. The T-26 has poor acceleration and speed on most surfaces. It can reach around 30 km per hour only on hard, flat surface, after a long, uninterrupted acceleration period. With even a small turn the speed will drop significantly. The narrow tracks significantly reduce its off-road mobility in muddy, sandy or snowy maps. Despite the tracks being short and far apart, the T-26 still has slow hull traverse and often needs a forward or backward jerk to start turning properly. Reverse speed is also very poor at minus 4 km per hour, which cannot save you from most bad situations. For new tankers, it is advised to choose between the T-26 and BT-5 wisely, since they have very similar aspects, reserve light tanks with thin armor, the same gun and a similar turret. They are good vehicles to compare and contrast opposing play styles. The T-26 represents slow, patient, hunting and hiding while. The BT-5 represents fast flanking and daring advances. Turret rotation speed is good. Cap at 16 degree per second. But gun depression is only minus 6. So no hell down for you while other nations will take advantage of that play style often. This is the common weakness of almost every Soviet tank that would leave you across all tiers. The 45mm cannon is the typical Soviet gun at rank 1. Players should get used to it since it will be their main light tank armament up until rank 2. This gun is very forgiving to beginners, with its very fast reload speed, decent damage, and traverse speed. The 45mm cannon has very good characteristics with its stock round. The APHE shell with a tiny bit of less penetration but with ballistic cap meaning that it doesn't lose penetration so quickly over a distance additionally containing 29 grams of TNT equivalent of explosive, sometimes even taking out enemies with a single shot. The fast reload of 3 to 4 second allows for quick adjustment of aim between shots. At longer ranges, shells begin to lose penetration and accuracy. It is not made for sniping. It is recommended to play the T-26 in a support role, flanking the battlefield and finding a good position to support your teammates from. Meaning the T-26 can be a highly effective vehicle if a good camping spot is found. This tank being slower than many other vehicles at its BR. It will usually arrive in the battlefield after the fighting has already begun. This can be an advantage in that you arrive after your team has already identified many targets. This also means that you will most likely not be on the front line of attack will usually allows for you to last a bit longer than players who rush the center of the battlefield. The T-26 has little anti-aircraft capabilities. Enemy aircraft with bombs or powerful guns can easily take out the T-26, so stick to the tree line to avoid being spotted and attacked.